Ooh boy, let's jump into it. If you haven't read it, Bill 686 dubbed the TikTok ban bill, otherwise known as the Restrict Act, is something you absolutely want to read. If you haven't read it, you need to. So I've taken a few days to actually read through this and my God. Now, anybody that knows me or knows my content knows that I call out both sides, but why am I not surprised that this piece of garbage was introduced by a Democrat, Mark Warner, no less? If you don't know him, go look him up. Now, this bill is so much more than just a TikTok ban, and it is absolutely something you need to know about. Now, in the beginning, they do try to make it feel all cozy and that they're protecting us from the bad guys by listing out the foreign adversaries. The only thing is, is in this portion, it talks about these. this list can change at any moment. Now, here's where it gets a little scary. They go through the basic software and hardware that are included in this, but a lot of people don't understand when you actually break this down. This means home cameras, home internet, home access, uh security systems, uh, even VPNs, that's where we get dicey. Essentially what they're saying is if any of this is used in regards to actually accessing uh, communications with foreign adversaries or news networks or you know other sources of media, you can actually be criminalized. Don't believe me read it for yourself this particular portion talks about using vpns and trying to access other areas of the foreign adversaries is criminalized for a minimum of 20 years in prison and a minimum fine of two hundred fifty thousand dollars up to and not exceeding one million dollars now let's get into the meat and potatoes this bill gives the power to the U.S. government to monitor any activity through any of those devices that I previously mentioned. So yes, it is what you think. They can monitor you 24-7 without you even knowing it. And here is your golden nugget. This bill goes on to say that bypassing any voting, the president can appoint a secretary of communication outlining some of the actual authorities that they have. This is the one I love right here. In carrying out the responsibilities, they can basically do whatever they want that seems appropriate. And to even further that point, it literally says it. The secretary may undertake any other action as necessary to carry out the responsibilities under this act. In summary, this bill literally gives the U.S. government the ability to monitor you through any means of communication 24-7, censor it if they so choose, and then ban anything that they feel is inappropriate. Have fun.